Hi, welcome to knowledge base video on shopping list. <laughs> yes, it is shopping time. Today I will list all the tools and components required to set up your personal lab so that you can start with your uh, microcontroller programming and robotics. These are the soldering tools you should have in your soldering kit. First is uh, soldering iron, this is 40 watt version. There are different uh, wattage uh, soldering irons available. This uh, 25 watt version is what you will get regularly. Okay, so the 25 watt version will look like this. And uh, there are different companies like uh, Vartec, uh, Recom, and uh, Soldron, Siron. You can buy any of those uh, soldering irons. And next is uh, the soldering wire. Okay, this is also called a soldering lead and uh, you should make sure you you are buying a thin wire like this okay uh, this is 0.5 uh, mm wire okay then we require a wet sponge wet sponge is basically to wipe the tip of this uh, soldering iron okay whenever it forms black residue over here we'll damp this in water and then wipe okay wipe the tip then we have soldering paste or flux we use this uh, soldering paste uh, to avoid the oxidation of the lead. When you melt this lead, it forms oxidation and there won't be connectivity. Okay, so the proper connectivity won't be there uh, between the leads and the pads or whatever you are soldering. So to avoid the oxidation, we use the soldering paste or flux. Okay, then you will require uh, this cutter. Uh, this is wire stripper. Now you can see there is a small notch there when you press this. Okay, this is what we'll use to uh, remove the outer jacket of the wire. And uh, this is a uh, wire nipper. Okay, uh, once we solder all the uh, resistors and LEDs, there will be uh, LEDs which will be sticking out of the PCB. So to clean cut of uh, all those LEDs, we'll use this uh, wire nippers. Okay and then we have a soldering stand okay this is uh, made by me so no, you you will get a fully metallic version okay in the market you'll get full metal uh, made out of metal everything is made out of metal okay and then this is desoldering pump we use this uh, desoldering pump to remove excessive lead or and, uh, to e even to remove the components solder the soldered components okay so uh, uh, once you solder all those components, uh, you can't just remove it easily. So we'll use this uh, desolder pump to uh, remove the lead and then the component. You'll require tweezer. Tweezer is basically uh, to hold the component. Okay. Uh, when you heat the soldering gun or soldering iron, it will uh, reach the temperature of up to 200, 230 to 300 degrees centigrade. Okay, at that time you can't hold the component, so we'll use the tweezers to hold the component. And then we have cutter, okay, or any blade will do. Uh, this we will use basically to remove the rust over or oxidation layer over the wires. Like when you're soldering wires, uh, there will be uh, oxidized layer over that. So to clean off those uh, wires, we'll use the blade. Okay, so these are the tools you should have in your uh, uh, soldering box and then you should have a multimeter okay uh, when you are buying a multimeter if you are buying a multimeter uh, right now okay so please don't buy uh, this uh, cheap multimeter like uh, this will cost you like 100 120 rupees please don't buy this this give a lot of error uh, errorness number okay and uh, i have noted that voltage what it provides is almost like uh, there is a difference of 0.4 volts and all and uh, sometimes it will show two decimal dots you can't make out what's the reading is properly okay so buy a good multimeter like uh, uh, you can buy a multimeter from uh, varitech and uh, mass tech there is one uh, which i came across recently and this is from a company called as excel okay so th these multimeter won't cost you more than 350-400 so it is a good investment and it gives pretty accurate values okay so please buy a multimeter uh, of a good company from a good company okay power adapter okay 
Uh, if you are starting with uh, microcontroller programming, I would suggest you to buy a uh, power adapter which has a rating of uh, one uh, one amp. Actually, five volts, one amp. Okay, voltage is five volts, and uh, uh, current rating is one amp. I would like to show you one more uh, power adapter. This one. Okay, this you don't get in a market because this is made by me. <laughs> I did this uh, for my own use. Okay, this is actually variable. Um, voltage adapter okay ba basically there is a transformer inside 12 volt transformer and i have uh, rigged up the circuit in one of the video i'll show that okay so i i can vary the voltage in terms of 10 volts and in terms of 1 volt i can vary that i can fine tune to whatever voltage i want like if i want 5.3.32 and all i can tune that so that is uh, how this will work anyway in one of the video i'll show that now let's look into all the components required to build your uh, development board okay so first one is uh, pick microcontroller because all my tutorials are based on that okay so probably you can see this now pick adnf4550 so this is the pick which i am going to use for all my tutorials okay so uh, please note in case if you don't get pick 18 f4550 there is one more version called as pick 18 f uh, 45k 50 45k 50 okay uh, there will be a k in between 45 and 50 okay so you can buy that that is very cheap uh, cheaper than this uh, microcontroller so both are compatible you can buy that or uh, this 4550 okay so then you have a development board this board i have shown you in uh, my previous video okay so you can buy this uh, board directly or you can construct one like this if you see this uh, board uh, all i have done is like uh, taken out all the pins respective pins outside and mentioned that this is a port b and uh, port a port d and all so th there is no r other circuitry this is a basic circuitry this is the reset pin and uh, on off switch for this to power up okay and the uh, crystal and uh, mm, uh, ceramic capacitors okay i'll tell you all those uh, importance of all these things uh, one by one okay so so in case if you are building this board in case if you want to build this one you need uh, this uh, crystal this is 4 megahertz crystal you can see this okay this is 4 megahertz crystal you you had to buy both uh, this is 4 megahertz crystal and this is 12 megahertz crystal yeah, you had to buy uh, 4 megahertz and uh, 12 megahertz crystal both because initial tutorials will be based on 4 megahertz crystal because of the calculations involved uh, which will simplify that i'll explain later and 12 megahertz is where when we switch to usb programming and all this is that is where when we use uh, 12 megahertz okay but anyway uh, see there are two versions i'm showing both the versions this is a, a big uh, package like this uh, but uh, regularly you will get this this is old version i guess when i was buying this was available okay so this is the regular version what you get so you can buy this okay then you will require uh, 22 picofarad capacitors like this okay if you can see uh, these are uh, ceramic capacitors okay and we can't see the uh, what's written on it this is 22 picofarad please note the uh, number okay then you will require zip socket like this N this gets locked like this see when you push this lever it gets locked okay so this is called a zip because it, uh, i mean the zip full form is zero insertion force okay uh, all you have to do is like place the ic and lock it okay this is very easy so buy this in case if you don't get this zip socket you, you have to buy uh, the regular dip this is a 40 pin uh, dip uh, socket okay you have to buy this For why 40 pin because uh, our uh, microcontroller is a 40 pin version that is fine okay then let's look into other stuff okay this is called as berg strip okay when you go and ask for bug strip this is what you get but there are uh, lengthy versions like one inch bug strip you had to specially ask for it but make sure you get a regular one okay so i'll show the other versions also then uh, reset switch or tax switch this is called as uh, reset switch or uh, tax switch okay 
and this is push to on switch this switch is what we use to control the power so when you will install this uh, switch in our board so if you want to power off entirely you can just press that in my board it is a sliding switch you can buy any of them so for my board uh, when I slide like this this is on and this side is off like that that is what I have configured okay so you can buy them and uh, you can buy these uh, LEDs these are 3 mm LEDs uh, you can buy colored whatever you want instead of green if you want blue you can install that okay and then you'll require resistors this is 10k resistor and uh, this is 120 and I don't have uh, 1k resistor right now so you have to buy 1k also so you should have 10k 1k and uh, 120 ohms and 330 ohms is optional you, you if you want you can buy them also then next one is uh, this is called as RMC cable okay this is called as RMC cable if you watch carefully you can see a notch here oh, wait now you can see the notch I guess okay so uh, this is is really helpful when you are uh, installing power okay so this is RMC base okay this will also have a notch for I mean uh, for this notch to go there is a place for this okay, let me okay so this way this cable will enter in only one direction okay like this you you can't push this in a reverse direction okay so if you try to push this plug in reverse direction it won't go actually uh, full proof so you don't uh, connect this in a reverse direction so negative to positive or positive to negative so that is why we will use rmc cable and rmc base okay i think uh, i'm sure okay uh, this is uh, 10 microfarad capacitors this will install in uh, power supply like when when you connect the power supply uh, there will use this uh, capacitors so to suppress the noise and uh, fluctuations and then we have a potentiometer okay so regularly we call this as pot if you okay this is 10k pot and um, you should buy this 10k version and 1k in case if you are building that uh, uh, variable voltage uh, adapter or volta uh, voltage supplier in case if you are uh, building that uh, you should go for uh, one 10k and 1k pot otherwise just buy 10k okay this will use in uh, ADC programming and all okay so when we are uh, dealing with sensors and uh, buy a trim pot like this okay this is called as trim pot you'll get metal versions also the, the, this is just uh, casing over that metal one that's it okay this has to be uh, 100k versions okay 100k or 50k whichever is available you can buy those uh, potentiometers okay so then we have PCB so you can buy PCBs in uh, different sizes okay uh, so I would suggest you to buy a PCB of uh, this size so let me take a scale and uh, tell you the length okay this PCB is actually 3 inches by okay 3 inches by 3.5 inches somewhere like that okay so you can buy those uh, this kind of uh, PCB or there is a bigger versions also available 5 by 7 and also you can buy them also you, you can just keep one or two in spare so when we go ahead with our other projects like display and all you can buy uh, use them okay these are 5 mm LEDs you can buy all the versions like uh, different colors sorry different colors like uh, red blue green yellow orange and all some other orange color is available like so you can buy them so basically this is all we require to build our uh, circuit like uh, build our uh, development board like this so in case if you buy this board you don't have to buy other stuff okay that research switch and all you don't have to buy but uh, when you are making a keypad you need that okay so but crystal is a must you, you should buy 4 megahertz and uh, 12 megahertz sometimes you'll get 20 megahertz crystal and all in your uh, board so we we will re desolder that and install 4 megahertz crystal okay okay then then we'll require uh, this uh, pic programmer this is picket 3 programmer from microchip locally there are different versions available uh, this is the one which I used in my engineering project Robotica okay so this is actually from NSK Bangalore uh, pick serial programmer this has an interface of uh, RS232 serial uh, interface 
and on a switch and uh, this is where I'll select uh, which uh, I mean how many pins are there in the IC so if I am using 40 pin version the switch will be like this and uh, for 8 to 20 pin 8 14 eight, sorry 8 14 18 20 pin uh, switch will be that side so anyway this is the old programmer uh, nowadays we get all uh, uh, USB programmers which has uh, uh, clones also like pick it to clones are available okay my tutorials will be based on pick it 3 but uh, I'll explain the basics so you will understand how to use any of the um, pick programmer okay these are the wires these are called as patch cards or uh, PV connector wires okay so buy some couple of wires like this uh, single uh, single uh, versions okay single pin ones okay single pin PV connectors or uh, patch cards that is what it is called as and I will also suggest you to buy uh, patch cards like this uh, this is 6 to single pin uh, 6 individual pin version okay so you can buy them so e each wire is connected to single pin like this so it is very useful there are different version 4 pin version this is 8 pin version okay this is 6 pin version there are different versions available you can buy them and uh, why I am suggesting you to buy this uh, pins is like in case if you want to connect an LED let's assume you have um, you built your breadboard sorry your uh, development board and you want to connect some components like LED resistor and all so you can use these cables okay and I told you about the one inch uh, pins like this you can use them to connect okay so you can put it here and then connect this wires like this and connect the other end to your development board pins okay these are the wires which uh, you had to buy okay this is one amp rating wires so you, you buy this uh, red color and uh, black color wires like this okay and then buy these two and then buy a rainbow wire like this okay you can uh, take out each individual wire like this okay so you can take out and use them uh, there are two versions uh, l available like different versions like uh, 8 core 10 core and all that means there will be 8 colored wires and 10 colored wires okay so buy a 10 colored wire one so cup like uh, 2 meters and you'll get uh, t uh, 10 wires of each 2 meters okay so please buy these uh, wires it will be very helpful in our uh, uh, projects when you are uh, solving different components and all okay let's look into some of the sensors uh, what we have here is uh, okay this is IR pair okay this is IR pair this is IR emitter and this is IR receiver I mean IR, IR sensor okay this will use uh, together to find a distance and all this alone the sensor alone we can use this to detect um, IR radiations uh, or even fire because fire has IR radiation okay so you can use this like this uh, basically in our tutorial uh, in my tutorial I'll use uh, both at a time to find the distance between the object uh, the object in which I have installed the sensor and uh, a wall or uh, any obstacle which it has in front of it okay then this is LDR LDR is a light dependent resistor okay this will use to find out what is the ambient light or intensity of the light which is falling on it we can find all those things and this is thermistor okay so this will use to find the temperature uh, this is one 1k uh, thermistor okay so there is a rating for this okay this is about uh, sensors now let's look into some special ICs what we will use in in the course okay so this is 7805 uh, regulator okay so this is 7805 regulator uh, this is uh, 5 volts regulator okay mm, 7805 is the uh, name of this uh, IC uh, this is 5, 5 volts regulator in case if it is 7806 that means it is 6 volts regulator okay and uh, I have uh, 7812 also that means 12 volt regulator okay so there are uh, different uh, basically we will require uh, 7805 and 7806 7806 for um, uh, servo motors okay and uh, 7805 for microcontroller 
and in, in there is uh, one special IC uh, this is called as adjustable voltage regulator this is LM317 if you have this IC you can get whatever output you want this is actually fixed 7805 is fixed no matter what you vary uh, in the input voltage up to 32 volts uh, this will give only 5 volts output okay this is a constant 5 volt output this is actually a variable okay you can connect uh, this has a small circuit and calculation for that uh, two resistors that is all you require okay and um, th this will give you the desired voltage whatever you require uh, so we'll use this also in some of in some of the circuit in case if you want 3.3 you can use this or there is a 3.3 volt regulators available okay so that is called as uh, i don't have that mm, but uh, that is actually uh, lm31 sorry uh, it is triple one seven that then we have a uh, motor driver okay this is uh, l298 okay l298 uh, motor driver ic all these ic's will come with the uh, heat sink i mean you have to purchase separately but every ic will have uh, heat sink so that is why this uh, back side is metallic okay so this is where we'll connect the uh, um, heat sink okay uh, you can buy them or you can just stick a piece of uh, metal okay yeah. stick in the sense you don't have to glue, you don't get a glue uh, there are thermal glues which are available but it is costly uh, you have to use the screw and uh, nut and bolt for this okay so anyway um, this is L298 and there is one more version available L293 which looks similar to this IC okay which looks similar to this IC hmm? So you you had to you can buy any of this. Uh, this is uh, two amps per channel rating, and uh, this one is uh, 600 milliamps uh, rating one. Okay, so you can buy any of these two for uh, driving motor. Okay, as uh, microcontroller cannot drive the motor directly. Then you have you need ULN 2003. Okay, ULN 2003. Okay, this is uh, actually array of seven transistors okay each channel has having 500 milliamp combining the power of uh, i mean like combining it will give 3.5 amps of current rating okay so you require this ic couple of ICs like uh, one or two by just one or two okay don't buy too many of them okay then in case if you are uh, interested in uh, uh, working on ir remote you will require uh, this uh, particular tsop Okay, I'll tell you the number. It is uh, TSOP one seven three eight. I forgot the number. Okay, TSOP one seven three eight. Okay, that is what you'll require. You can buy this. There are different versions, smaller versions also available. So you can buy any of them. So this is for IR remote uh, sensing, and there are some MOSFETs and other uh, other things. But you can buy them as and when you go through the video tutorials and in case if you are interested in that and I would suggest you to buy a compartment box like this okay uh, buy a bigger box this is very small one okay so you can uh, just keep all the things in an organized manner okay so I think I have shown you all the things okay one more thing which is left out is uh, USB to serial converter as uh, as we know nowadays laptop doesn't have uh, serial connectors we'll use this usb to serial converter okay usb to serial converter okay so this has a b type uh, usb connector and there is ic which converts usb to serial okay this we'll use for um, uh, communicating with pc or uh, sometimes we'll use this for debugging and all okay so you can just send some data to PC as and when some event has happened and uh, you can do that. So that's the list of components uh, we require. In my next video, I'll talk about IDs and compilers uh, which are available in the market. So anyway, that's it. Thank you.